first off, um, he was a remarkable young man, and, and I don't use those words uh, loosely. Um, he had the ability to make everybody feel good about themselves, uh, to make everybody happy, um, and he comes from a wonderful family. Uh, his older brother played for us and is now playing at UVA Wise as a wide receiver and had the same work ethic and drive uh, that Jay had and uh, has an older sister that I taught um, here that's the same, um, always strives for greatness. And, uh, you know, I told the mom uh, about a month ago in, at 707, I said, you've done an awesome job raising your kids. Um, they're just unbelievable people. And of course, Jay was just an incredible young man. And, um, you know, it's a tragic and it's a, it's a devastating loss for all of us. It puts everything into perspective, Sean, and uh, football's a game. And, and so our, our kids, um, you know, they've been wanting to get out here. And I told them when I met with them on Wednesday morning that the timeline will set itself. And, um, you know, we have to go through the grieving process um, along with the family and, and then begin the healing process. Uh, and I told them that, um, you know, myself and our coaching staff is, is ready to lead them through that process. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been reached out to through, through Tony Elliott and, and Blanda Wolf and, and some of the other coaches that have gone through and experienced tragedy because I needed help. Um, I, I, I don't, there's nothing in the coach's manual that, that tells you how to deal with situations like this. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we're there for the family as much as possible and as well as these players here behind me. Um, football has always been secondary with these kids. Um, I've always truly felt that um, Coaching to the heart of these young men is always more important than coaching to their talents. And um, this is nothing different in the 25 years that I've been here. I've never coached anywhere else. Um, was the hardest week I've ever experienced. Um, and it's still very difficult. And so um, I want to make sure that I coach to their hearts, each and every one of them. Um, and at the same time, I want to be there for the family for anything they need as well. He does everything you ask. Um, he works all, he works extremely hard. and. Um, his, his intangibles at the quarterback position are immeasurable for our football team. And, and the things that he's able to do and the way that he's able to lead, um, and along with his physical attributes, um, he can run, he can throw, and um, he's a very vital uh, part of what we do here. And uh, moving forward, he's gonna be a very vital part, not only on the field, but off the field leading these young, these young guys. I know we got a lot of young kids on this football team, uh, extremely talented. Our JVs went 9-1 uh, and one last year. They only lost one game to Highland Springs, and our middle school team went undefeated last year. And so we have a lot of young kids that are very talented, that are eager to get out on the field, uh, but they're young. They're going to go through some growing pains, and, and that's where we need a, a Cam Hunt and a, a Makari Tatum to, uh, to help guide these young, young guys along. And, um, you know, we're, they're going to be really good football players, but uh, they're going to go through growing pains. It's a success just us being out here on the field today and being able to make it through a practice is the first time we've been out here um, since the tragedy happened. And so uh, just taking it day by day, Sean, and um, you know, being out here and, and making it through a practice, and, and um, that's going to be the goal uh, moving forward for right now.